Let me ask this of you. This is your first time here. Let me see your hands on the first timer. Oh, okay. Right here. When I tell you that you're not a sinner or a saint, what do you think about that? You're 100% right. And so why do you call yourself a sinner? Because I sin. But if you're not a sinner, <clears throat> how can you sin? I am a sinner. I'm sorry? Oh, I am a sinner. You are a sinner, but yes. I'm telling you that you're not. What do you think about that? I would lovingly disagree with you. A and why? First John, and I know I sinned. What did John say? If we claim not to be a sinner, we're a liar. It doesn't say that. I'm misquoting it. It says, if you have never sinned, you're a liar. Okay. It didn't say if you say you're not a sinner. It says that if you say you have never sinned. Okay, thank you. Why did you say it says that if you're not a sinner, if you say you're not a sinner? I haven't memorized the whole New Testament yet. Oh, I understand. <laughs> um, I want you to know that you, well, I'll come back to you in a minute. Let me see your new hands again real fast. Oh, well, I'll come back to you. Cause you listen to the show, right? Okay. The young man way back. If I tell you that you're not a sinner, what do you think about that? I, th I think I am a sinner. And, and why do you think you are a sinner? Because I've, I've committed sins that I feel guilt for. Speak up for me. I've committed sins that I do feel guilt for. Did you want to commit those sins? I suppose sometimes. sometimes you, mostly no, but sometimes yeah. But why did you do it when mostly no, if you didn't want to do it? Because I do know right from wrong. Speak up for me. I do know right from wrong. And how do you know right from wrong? I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know we were taught by parents, school, society. Uh, I mean, I got to figure even, even what we're taught by our parents, that's kind of all instilled to them. Speak up for me. It's all instilled in our parents from a thousand years of, you know, our religion and whatnot. So I, I don't know. I, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. And the other, let me see the hands first time. Okay. Let me go here, then here. When I tell you that you're not a sinner, what do you think about that? Well, after hearing the responses, I would agree. You would agree? Yeah. And why would you agree? Because what you heard that made you realize, caused you to realize that you're not. Going back to not labeling myself, but also I think if you're constantly present, then you can't um, be uh, a label, a sin, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. yeah. But I would, before that people started talking, I would have labeled myself a, a sinner. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Uh, let me go back to the young man in the blue. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. When you hear that you're not a sinner, what do you think about that? Uh, I agree with you that we are not sinners. How about you? Um, you you I, listen to I, yourself, I, right? I do. Yeah, I agree with you. Oh, I agree okay. with you that I am not a sinner. Oh, but did you think of yourself as a sinner? I have sinned. I can sin. Um, you can? I can. Yeah. How? When I listen to my thoughts and I'm not present, then oh, I'll start okay. doing things that's not me. So it, I'm not a sinner, but okay. I, I can. Let me go back to the, the blue shirt for real fast. What if I told you that God doesn't see you? God knows you're not a sinner. Now, human beings tell you that you are. Your thoughts tell you you are. You've been trained to, to believe that. What if I told you that God does not see you as a sinner and he's holding nothing against you? That would be a huge relief. He's not seeing you that way at all. Because everything you have done in your whole life was done from a thought first, the imagination, and the feeling, and you acted it out. You did what the thought and the feeling made you do. It was never you. That's why you did the things that you didn't want to do. And you will repeat the things that you didn't want to repeat. You would say, I would never do that again. And you end up doing it again. It was never you. It was this thing that made a home in you. And the real you cannot sin. You just don't know who that is at this point. And when you do those things, the devil working through your imagination, he also makes you feel guilty about what you've done. And he tells you that's God judging you. It's not God. I promise you that. 
And so when you ask, when you stop, believe in thought, forgive your parents, your mom and father, they can help them. Forgive them, and God will forgive you. And the light will come on, you'll rise a little bit, a little bit. And the light will shine on the thoughts and feelings. Stop identifying with them, and you will be free. Yes, sir. God, is, there's nothing that you've ever done in your whole life that was you. He knows that it was your sins have been wiped away. You've been bought back by God. You are his son. You, he owns you, and he will not make you sin. What do you think about that? It's too much to think about right now. That's it's a lot. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I did the go forgive my mom, and sometimes I feel like it didn't stick. Uh, like, I, I verbally forgave her, but I don't think I... I'm, I'm still trying to work it out up here. You can't work it out in the head. You got to overcome the head. Right. All thoughts are all lies all the time about anything. As I was saying to this young lady, the devil doesn't want you to know that he's the devil. He wants you to think it's you. He wants you to think it's God. But when the light came on, God brought you out of here. He started shining the darkness on evil. You possess in the mind. That's why he said bring every thought into captivity. All thoughts are lie. It's a practical thought about going to work and buying some food. But it's not you. You have no reason to feel guilty. And as soon as you let those feelings pass, those spirit layers and layers of false identity will start to disappear. And Satan will have to go and make a home in somebody else. He can no longer live inside of you. Thank you. Does that help? Yes. Yeah. It, does it give you a little freedom to know it's not you? Yes, sir. So are you doing the silent prayer? Uh, no. Do you know about it? Yes, sir. Okay, start doing that so that you can become, so you're giving up and you realize I can't change myself. I can't change my nature, right? And it's not your nature anyway, but it's, you've been living in that nature. And the spirit of the Father, true love, would change it. He would literally destroy it. And there are so many layers to go through. So never think you have arrived. When you stop thinking you arrived, then you're there. All right? So I want you to start doing the silent prayer. Let me know how it goes. Yes, sir. Any questions about that? Not right now. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. What do you think about that? That is all in the mind. It's not you. Everything you've done, it made you do it. You, you have never sinned. The only thing you had to do to for, forgive, and I can t you said you haven't forgiven your mother yet, you need to get to know yourself so you can see that that anger you have came from your mother. And she turned you away from your father. Forgive your mother and your father. They couldn't help it. And, and then you start to see that you have not sinned. Then you will let the, the truth destroy the darkness, the lie. Okay. I might be missing that. I think they were both wonderful. <laughs> I know. We all think that. Yeah. Until the truth come home. So, if they were wonderful, you would not have anger, period. When I stub my toe and I say a nasty word, that's my parents' fault? N no, not when you stub your toe. Well, but when you say a it's not their fault now as an adult. It's your fault because you're unwilling to see that you need to forgive them. So it's your fault that you're living in hell right now. But when you see it by paying attention to it inside, if you just question it, am I, do I really, do I love, what did they do wrong that I didn't like at times? If you start questioning it, you will start to see a little bit. And then the rest is history. All right. All right. But don't, don't let me convince you. You need to see it for yourself. I got to watch the video. It's oh, confusing. Oh, silent prayer, both of them? I want, you're doing your little hoop and holler prayer, right? Lord, save me, help me, bless my mom and daddy. Have mercy, Jesus. Just pray Praise for his will. Lord. <laughs> there you go. That's, take this. Take that. That's what a oh. silent prayer. Okay. Let me show you, you how to do it, yeah. Thank you haven't showed your father-in-law how to do the silent prayer? Uh, no, that's why I brought him here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. Okay, I want you to start. Do your little hoop and holler prayer first. You know what the hoop and holler prayer is? Uh, like the black churches do? Yeah. Well, I've been to black too. churches, yeah. 
<laughs> but the one, I'm glad you left. <laughs> you know, the one at night we like, mm. oh, God, thank you for this day. Thank you for blessing my family, my, and, and bless Joe down the road. He's in trouble. You know all that? Yes. Do that, and then when you're done do that, be, doing that, be still and know God. Thank you. Yes. All right? And let me know how it goes. Will do. All right. Amazing. Thank you. But the only thing we had to do is apologize for judging. Anyone that has anger has hatred in their heart, and in their hatred they play God. They judge themselves and others. As long as you play God, you can't know God. Is there righteous anger? You don't know what that is. It does exist, but it's not the same anger human beings have. It's not a feeling. Okay. It's not a feeling. You will know what that is. Matter of fact, I read this thing about Jesus last night in John, and Jesus was saying that everything I do, my Father is doing this through me. It's my Father working through me. He's making me do these things. He is encouraging me and something like he's causing me to do it. He's like, even, and I'll paraphrase in John, even when I judge, my father has given me the right to judge. He see how to judge righteously. And you will too when you overcome the imagination, the anger. Thank you. You wouldn't know how to do it. All right. Amazing, huh? Yes. Are you going to dump your brother-in-law now? You're going to get rid of your son-in-law? <laughs> or are you no. going to be grateful he brought you? I'm glad. For, oh, I, I think you're the best kid, cat in the litter. Oh, best amazing. kitten in the litter. Well, thank you. <laughs> I really mean that. So here's, thank you, but I do stay.